at the 35-yard line. Lane went out of the game, by the way, just so you for reference. Brady hits Amendola on a down and in at about 7 yards, and he runs about another 15 yards after the kill. Well, Chancellor and Earl Thomas. Now at the 10-yard line, Brady does a play fake, and he throws it, and he hits Brandon LaFell with a touchdown on a slant pattern. Ball, 45-yard line, Wilson does a play fake and goes up top and hits Matthews, who's a big body. Seattle at the 4-yard line, and a handoff to Marshawn Lynch, breaking two tackles to score. More about Lynch later as we get six, and for some reason, Gronk gets isolated on the right sideline with Kitch. Now with 10 seconds left, Seattle got into business. A throw here to lock it. Uh, down and up. Seconds left. Uh, Wilson back and he throws it to Matthews using that big body again. And Wilson with a play fake and he goes up top and he hits Matthews again. I don't know if he got maybe Seattle with the ball back. Wilson back to pass runs. He scrambles out the left side and he runs for about 16 or 17 yards. And here, play fake. Ball gets open with the Nice route that he ran where he cut in the middle of the field and he ran Revis right into the um, umpire. And Revis was complaining. It's like, you know what? Don't cry. You're a great corner. Brady did the same. Third and 14. This was basically the game. Brady stepped up in the pocket and he slinged it down the middle and hits Edelman. He's down at about the 49-yard line of Seattle. But he got about 17. He hits Edelman who runs right behind the linebacker. He found that soft spot in the zone for about... I don't know, 18. Brady hits Amendola. Danny Amendola was awful at the end of the season. I mean, the early part of the season did great in the last four games. Amendola cuts in, out, and then in, and just finds the soft spot. He really had a good game, surprisingly. Brady hits Gronk with a huge play, second and 11 to get about 17 yards or so. A second and goal. Edelman does like a basketball play. He runs in and out, almost like a... Like he's heading towards the center where the paint is and then cuts out looking for the basketball. Unbelievable route. I mean, like a Wilson hits Marshawn Lynch on a go route. Gets about 30 yards. Big play to get them to score. Big play here. Wilson throws it down the sidelines. It goes up. It looks like it's knocked away. Incomplete. But amazing catch by Curse. Jermaine Curse. I know people will say it's lucky, which it was a little bit lucky, but also what's unbelievable because watching it, it bounces up here, gets knocked around, it hits off a curse's leg, and he's got the presence of mind to see it, get it with his right hand, and still grab it. I mean, unbelievable concentration. Now here's the play of the year, the dumbest call ever by Pete Carroll, maybe in NFL history. Wilson into the middle, picked off by Malcolm Butler. Did a great job. Malcolm Butler, nothing away. Awesome play on your part. One of the best plays in the history of the NFL to win a championship for your team. Um, I don't know why Pete Carroll made that call, or his uh, offensive coordinator. And you could see here, Butler cut, cut the root off. And this is the most amazing shot, right? And this he's throwing it. It looks like it's going to be a catch, and boom, Butler in front. Thank you very much for watching the video, all. I appreciate it, and have an excellent evening.